Obsidian. And Bioware. The M478 Project. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Star Wars KOTOR 2, The Sith Lords. Uh, we are running the Restored Content mod, uh, which adds a bunch of cut stuff out. Or cut stuff back in. Stuff that was cut out gets added back in. Uh, I am Mashiachosaurus, of course, if you didn't know. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and load this save. Last time, I got stuck on the station because I could not remember how to... Uh, How to get off of it. We need one more code. And what I need to do is I need to talk to that stupid droid. Where is he? Hey, Robot. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? Okay, uh, so what's that body? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain. An attempt to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams. As the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Uh, did he say anything? Recitation? Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, stop with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, oh Jesus. Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Uh, can you repeat that while I take out this recorder? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bed. Please, stop with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Okay. Uh, if you can play back his voice, can't you speak the voice code? Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. Are believed to possess. There is nothing that can be done. Believed to possess? Irritated statement. Master, if you insist on echoing everything I say, this already tedious conversation is in danger of becoming even longer. Clarification. But yes, most droids are believed to possess ethics programming. Such programming would prevent me from using my incredible talents to break a voice print code. Yeah, what would it sound like if you... It's... Proud answer. Master, I believe my vocabulator is working adequately enough to accommodate your request. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Yeah, I think that's all I need. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? No, I'll be going. Okay. This is the main decision we need to do the thing. 
Enter voice print. Maintenance control, voice print ID, R1B5. Okay. Okay. Uh, open the George the airlock with the override. Okay. Got a spacesuit. I do happen to have a mod running that makes you move faster, which is why it looks so goofy. But otherwise, this is really tedious. There's nothing you can do outside in space. You just walk slowly. It's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. I'm right outside the observation huh? window. What are you doing out there? A uh, Jake. Uh, I need to reach the miners in the dormitory section. You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there quick. What do you mean? What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Uh, can't you shut them down? I can't. I'm locked out of the main systems here. I couldn't shut it down if I tried. The vents Which look I like won't. they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, this resolution is terrible. Talk about a bad feeling about this. Need to clean it up. I guess it was nap time on the bridge. Everybody's just sleeping it off. Had a kegger last night. You need a shirt, dude. Maybe some skin cream, too. Like, come on. Take some pride in your appearance, man. The scale of that ship seems off. Like, it seems like that ship should be much larger compared to the gantry. Okay. He has come. 
Yep, he has. Let's just uh, scooch on down here. Into the dormitory level. Credits and chemicals. Got a Bothan perception pipe. Well, what does a Bothan perception visor give us? Mm, not as good as the one we've got. All the fire suppression systems have gone active and I can't even make it to the dormitory section. I watched the turrets turn their carbonite freeze rays on Maban before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, their range doesn't seem to go beyond the room itself, so I was able to remain safe in the corridor, but I didn't have any ranged weapons to take them out from a distance, and I didn't have a stealth field generator to sneak across the room either. I tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there were any cold resistant items or grenades I could use, but the door was sealed from the lockdown. I don't know enough about security systems to open it, and I didn't have a sonic charge to blow the door open. Still, as long as the droids don't make it into this section, I should be alright. You seem to not be alright, dude. Ooh, yes. Credits and more credits. I like it. Insulated gloves, eh? Okay. Go ahead and see. Insulated gloves. Oh, nice. Well, why would I ever choose the reflex package, which gives me plus one reflex, over a dexterity upgrade of plus three, which would give me at least a plus one to reflex? That's silly. Mines.
Environment underlay, Mark 1. Shift assignment console. Uh, do I want to use part? I've got more parts than spikes. suppression droid. This is the correct way to go, which means that it's the not correct way to go. Let's go back and uh, take on these turrets in here. They aren't too much trouble. Not even like worried about the damage these things can do. It's just they have an annoying habit of canceling my actions. There. That was annoying. Uh, blast open with a mine, eh? Store of underlay. Oddly shaped dukes. Steal your money. Okay, oh, remains. I'll take it.
Okay, let's level up here. So... We'll do that. And new powers. What do we want here? There's a lot we can't have. I would love to take heal, but it requires level six. Uh, let's use speed. Okay. If you're curious about the godly stats we've got, yes, we cheated. You'll have to see the first episode for my explanation for why I did that. Kurta, yep, I'll take that. Mind log. The hollow looks like it, this hollow looks like it needs to be back, plugged into a hollow reader in order to play back the contents. Okay. Take all of that. Take all of that. Uh, open the door. Door is locked. Uh, sure, spike it. Uh, no, okay. All right, so we know what we need to do. Figure out the code for the door. And to do that, let's open a random other door. chemicals uh, yeah let's okay use the lab station hmm we can make a med pack or we can make an advanced med pack. We don't have enough chemicals to uh, make a lot. Mess all log. I swear they're never going to get around to fixing the ventilation system. And the food, if the food process is back up again, the next time the fumes start flooding the main, the mess hall. I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. I'll keep this breath mask here just in case we have a repeat instant. standing right in front of them. It's all fancy when the robot is paralyzed and unable to do anything. Oh, look. OK, 
Okay, another hollow log that needs to be plugged in. Okay. Really, I can't interact with that chest? these chests? Yes, this one. A droid oxidizer. That could be useful if I ever decide to use guns like a simp. Okay. Let's go back to the uh, neural band. Crap. Back to the breath mask. This hollow log looks like it needs to be plugged into a hollow reader. Credits and more credits. Credits is like space talk for a month. Okay. Okay. Does this have... Hmm. 
that's the airlock. I don't want to go out through the airlock. Maybe I can try the turbo lift access console. Maybe that's got the hollow reader built into it. Five number code sequence ranging from one to twenty. Yeah, there's no way to guess that. Well, I mean there is, but it'll take um basically a lifetime. Alright, so I need something that can read hollow logs. Interesting and also frustrating. Ah, okay. All right, mine administrator. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to her? 
Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. Okay. Let me. This may be the beginning of a. Just finish help. The transmission gives the. Three seventeen thirteen. No. And it's reversed, so it's thirteen seventeen three are the last three. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe she could. No, she's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I have a catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a. At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the. Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? It's. Whoops. Everybody dies so dramatically. Okay. Mine foreman. My name is Peter Sobel Barakta Drun. Work report. It has been two days since the broken Jedi came to come to facility. Work efficiency is down and fuel is backing up in vents waiting for processing. The fight frequency increases. Corta and his crew think we should take the Jedi, then split the many credits by selling Jedi to exchange. Tried to convince me to join them. In my mind, it is better letting the Jedi go wherever a Jedi wants to go. When Jedi get mad, they start big wars, set galaxy on fire. Yeah, that's fair. Talk with Korta failure. I had a careful, inoffensive talk with Korta and asked him to not make trouble with the Jedi. I remind him we were ordered to leave Jedi alone and we should follow orders or facility fall apart. My words had much sense, but Korta got all angry and human faced, then said the facility is going to fall apart anyway. After talk, I listened to him talking to the maintenance officer on comm. They are going to smuggle Jedi off Paragus. Why do they do this? I am thinking of reporting this to administration officer, but that will cause more trouble, cause more inefficiency. What do I do? And must take action. I heard last comm talk from Korta to maintenance officer. Maintenance officer said he had big plan for disabling station, leaving us all trapped here while he and Korta escaped with the Jedi. I am still afraid of Korta, who is big, loud, and unreasonable, so I went to the maintenance officer, who is smaller, more sen sensible, more celestine. I asked him why he made trouble with Korta. Then maintenance officer cracked eyebrow hair at me, pretend to not know what talking about, saying he not speak to Korta at all. Why all human lie? Can't wait any longer. Must... Uh, uh, whoops. Your ears always were too big, CN. Come on. If the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions, these dorms are going to be filling up soon. And shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher. Okay. Uh, Doc Officer. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console has been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. Fuel depot force field. <sighs> the situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level. And we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship. Or a Telos freighter. Uh, distress transmission. Managed to use the hollow transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. <sighs> the messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, 
Who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? Okay. And the miner. Okay. Private comlink message. What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi about selling her to the exchange. Yeah, but security already set their piece on that, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks and ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know someone. Works this system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comlink. Maintenance out. Since when did the maintenance officer grows in horns? Hmm. Okay, let's check the... Oops. No, I wanted to check the transmission. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, seventeen, thirteen, then the next two numbers are... Okay. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo. All right, wind so three, seventeen, thirteen, five, seven. So seven, five, thirteen, seventeen, three. All right. Seven, five, thirteen, seventeen, three. Seven five thirteen seventeen three. Nope. Seven five thirteen seventeen and three. Seven five thirteen seventeen and three. to the code in reverse. Hooray! I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. Enemy? The one that fired upon the Ebbard Hawk as we attempted to rescue you. And he will not let us go without blood being shed. Okay. Who is this? The story is a long one, and time is short. Come, we must go, and quickly. All right, let's go. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. Okay. Yes. Let's level you up a bit. So... Uh, let's bump your wisdom up. She's mostly a... Uh, I'm not going to use her for stealth. She's mostly a Jedi. But a neutral Jedi. Uh, no, that sounds like a bad deal. Uh, she's got fear, she's got force push.
Uh, yeah. This is a good one for her. More leveling up. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, Throw a lightsaber might not be a bad one. But no, I'll go with the uh, lightning. Okay. Now, one thing you may have noticed is that we get an experience point boost when she's active in the party. Uh, all the characters that you can have as a party member have bonuses that they give you. Or have special abilities that you can use. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Uh, we have to leave now. No, there's no time to explain. Grab a weapon, follow me. Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Okay. As long as Aton isn't the last party member standing, he can't be knocked out, and his saving throws improve the more he's wounded. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Uh, no, you were clear. I just don't listen to assassin droids. Clarification. Assassin and droid is such a crude term, Master. Reserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, resulting in the termination of hostilities. Are you the one who murdered all the miners in the medical bay? Indignant answer. Master, the miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly type explosions drove the miners into their dormitories where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't get too attached to this particular uh, HK series droid, Mef. Uh He's not going to be long with us. Uh, let's see here. Uh, why did you want to capture It is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my client's master. Suffice to say that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found by hunters such as myself, or more likely, the Jedi Order. Uh, let's see. You found me. Obviously, I didn't do a good job. Mission. It 
was a matter of chance, Master. I happened to be serving as a protocol droid on the Harbinger when you booked passage. After that, it was a simple matter to sabotage the Harbinger and call for a retrieval. Irritated statement. However, when the Ebon Hawk appeared and salvaged us from the wreckage, I was forced into a series of rapid recalculations, culminating in our current situation. Uh, I don't want to fight you, but I will if you leave me no choice. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. Let's level Atten up before we uh, get into it here. Uh, I really want his treat injury to be higher. Uh, that's probably good enough though. Leave that as is. And feats. Okay. So. Scoundrel's luck. Uh, map proficiency melee, we don't care. Ah, there we go. Dueling. Uh, we're going to give him dueling. And you'll understand why I'm not trying to give him two weapons later. Okay. I hear... Self-sustaining unit, HK vocabulator, and an advanced mic laser. Okay. Uh, where is this thing that I've got to get to? I think it's the airlock, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to get onto that docked ship. So we need to head over this way. We will be seeing the HK-50 assassin droids later, and possibly there will be other... Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are a few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. Calm down. We need a plan, not accusations. If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. 
I saw this vessel duck when it did a fuel pipe entered the fuel depot behind the force field. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Uh, let's see here. If you've got an idea instead of another complaint, let's hear it. Two of you, be silent. Wait, how did, had the Harbinger get the orbital drift charts if it would need to dock? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their nav computer. They'd have to. So let's get their codes then. Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. Now that you have a party, certain actions and dialogue responses will increase or decrease your influence with your companions depending on their personalities. Some respect cruelty, while others may respect nobility, loyalty, cleverness, brute force, and so on. The higher your influence with a companion, the more your alignment affects theirs. An extreme high and low influence with a companion can open up additional dialogue choices. There are benefits to both, so treat them as you will. Our enemies gather while we wait here. Uh, forgive me, I was distracted. I'll be more mindful. Very well. Influence gained. Kriya. I mean, this already looks like the bridge. Let's just grab the nav computer. Uh, one part or one spike? Uh, we'll do the part. Download drift charts. Check logs. We have taken on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Silence. Sir? I need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Interesting. Sith warship. Report. Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berth, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beam to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort. We'll find out. Survivors. Everyone in the Evan Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Fractured? Something's wrong here. I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. Emergency report. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from Med Lab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to Med Lab now. Interesting. Shiny battle armor. I hear you. Well, you know, Atten's rib jacket gives him a defense bonus of four and a saves of plus two. Or it's shiny battle armor. Yeah. Let's give him that. And the reflex package. He can use the Bothan Perceptor. And let's give him a main shield or an energy shield and a mining shield. And he can have the stealth field generator. 
He's got a mining laser equipped. What else do we have here that's better? Uh, nothing for him, because those are blaster pistols. Kree is kind of useless in a fight right now, but that's fine. We know what happened to the other guys. Not bad, guys. Uh, these are all the escape pods. Escape pods are all locked and can't be used. Okay. So the Sith snuck aboard, killed everyone, along with the Jedi. Well, the, the Sith guy. through that door. More poo. Maybe we can. Maybe we can blow it open or something. steel cylinder. Why, it's like Christmas. Okay. Cool. Where that came from? Time to take you down to stop. Where would that came from? Not bad. Must have just sucked. RB 
passenger crew quarters. This is probably not where I want to be. Yay, a med pack. Briefing box. Check briefing logs. Hostiles have been diverted from Onderon to the outer rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. Okay, passenger transport. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the outer rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of her identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whatever this passenger is, she's got diplomatic level priority, whether she knows it or not. Interesting. Distress signal. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. Priority override. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that she reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure she arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Massey out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I've always been kept in the... D Query, you sent for me, Captain. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything she needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. Her safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. Cute. Okay. Blaster carbine, which is a type of rifle. Carbine, carbine, however you say it. Yes, more stuff for me to steal. Take nothing. Are you all right? These were my clothes. your room? When? Before I lost consciousness and woke up on Paragus. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. Med pack, busty Mc. Jedi Pants data pad, her armband, and the strengthening underlay. Busty McJetty Pants, you are requested to report to the Harbinger Medical Bay for a routine examination. The routine is automated. Simply insert this data pad into the medical computer to receive your injections. Uh, 
Constitution plus one. Okay. Uh, that actually doesn't help us. Constitution plus one won't give us an increase in our constitution modifier, which is what actually counts because Dungeons and Dragons is stupid. Uh, so it's the same as not having a benefit at all. level up mid-combat. That sounds like a good idea. Ooh. We get a new feat. Uh, we do want to improve to weapon. Powers. We can finally get heal. That's a no-brainer. This shall not stop us for long. How did you miss, Adden? You were literally aiming right at her head. Get ten bucks on it. tank. Another plastic cylinder. Oh, I like that. A damaged medical droid. Ooh, and another plastic cylinder. Alright. Let's check the medical console. Uh, check treatment requests. Both see McJedi pants. Sedatives administered during routine examination 3.5 days ago. Emergency override in action. Dosage exceeds safety protocols. During your last medical exam, you were administered a delayed sedative that would kill a normal human being. That must be what rendered you un unconscious when the harbinger was taken out. It looks as if someone forgot to lock out the treatment request once administered. You still have access to one of the Colto tanks in the medical bay. Uh, Identify the Colto tank. Gotcha. Uh, check medical logs. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that fifth firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their ships, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Uh, you guys do know that, like, stealth field technology exists, right? Like, that's a normal thing in this universe, right? Sith survivor. survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, and then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. Gorilla glue. Uh, emergency broadcast. This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank with a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. Good to know. Okay. Yeah, 
and another class steel cylinder with low grade loot. Specialist. She's got dueling, might as well go further on that with her. Keel is just too useful to not take. Oh, I've got more powers. Horror. security door. A strength enhancer. Sounds good. A meditation band. That also sounds good. And money. Money, 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 money. Let's, uh, got the safety harness, which is demolitions plus one. Strength plus one, fortitude plus one, or reflex plus two. Let's go with reflex plus two, since that actually helps us. can't use the shielding visor. Um, it requires armor proficiency medium. Meditation band. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. Lock. I don't know whether this new HK-50 droid is a gift or a curse. After the destruction of the previous protocol droid when it accidentally activated that frag mine, 
The H key has stepped into its place without a hitch. Problem is, it doesn't take commands very well. And most of the time, I have no idea where it's been. There's been reports it's been sighted in the crew quarters, with the captain, in maintenance, and even in med lab of all places. And when I ask the droid about it, it gives me a smart mouth response about facilitating communication. I don't know who commissioned these HK models, but I don't like them. Unlike the others, this protocol droid appears to have been purposely sabotaged. So that's basically our map. Cool, cool, depressing, cool. Let's get down to this turbo lift and get to engineering. feeling about this. Your headwear looks goofy as hell. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you feel it? Something's gonna get real wrong real quick. How do you know that? You don't survive on the rim as long as I have without knowing when trouble's coming. We'll have to be careful then, but we have to keep moving. Alright, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. Atten has a special ability to sense anything that places him at risk. When he gets a bad feeling, it's recommended that you save your game. Influence gained. Atten. There we go. Alright. No, that's the crew quarters. I don't want to go back to the crew quarters. Hello. Like a moisturizer would do wonders. To warn you, Jedi. You know not what path you walk. This battle is mine alone. I am not defenseless. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run. I shall be along shortly. Okay. Seriously though, that guy just, he needs to moisturize more. Atta. This is the enemy's console, but no, I want this. I want my loot. A vibroblade. Hey, we could use that. Okay. Uh, reroute the maintenance control systems. Open maintenance doors to the ion engines. Cool. Log out. Two weapons means you attack twice as often. This is basic science. Oh, circa utility belt. Uh, let's see here. 
create new items. No. I don't want people to break down. I'll fiddle with that later. Ion engine control. Activate engine maintenance procedure. There. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. Hey, the clocking. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. Welcome to the stream. Uh,. Let's see. It's the only way to get around the sealed door and into the hangar where the Ebon Hawk is. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. Most likely, yes. I sent you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you, as you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. You have fallen so far and learned nothing. That is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Well, you gotta hand it to him. Wh what's wrong? Are you all right? Whoa. Damn it! Hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? Da, Atten, could you please not cohabitate my polygons? Uh. Kira, I think she or Kreia, I think she was wounded badly. Huh? How do you know that? Uh, I think it was through the Force. Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if sleeps with vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and decides to use us for practice next. All right, let's go. Utility TTV. droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. I know you. We ran into the protocol droid earlier. He attacked us too. Uh, don't blame yourself. If you hadn't gotten us out of the administration level, we'd never made it this far. Come on then. We have to hurry. T3 has joined your party. He has the ability to make programming spikes on demand, and he can also upgrade items if asked. Uh, point in dexterity, because that will give him an actual uh, bonus. Again. And again. Feats. Uh, might as well take weapon focus blaster pistol because that's the only one he can get. What's dual strike here? Oh, interesting. Uh, class skill demolitions, no. 
no, none of that. Let's give him plus one to hit with blaster pistols, because that's all he can use. Alright, busty McJedi pants. The control circuit looks important. Thank you, T3. Get this mine out of our way. Try again. Skill too low. Fine. Just disarm it then. There. around here. Tank controls, baby. Emergency field station. Shut down the emergency field to the exit ramp. Cool. Control station. That sounds as good as anything. Uh, call up a system log. Uh, yep. Someone slices the fuel depot control. Created a phantom fuel leak, sealing off the area with force fields to contain the blast. Looks as if someone has been using the lockdown to systemically isolate sections of the facilities. Okay. Just take a little jog over here. To the docking bay. Oh, 
home container is empty. What good is it? Let's settle it. Dead. Evan Hawk is right there. Uh, slow down and repeat that. Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? He said he can open the door to the hangar. He just needs access to the hangar. A terminal up on the platform. How can you even understand that? Uh, I served with a lot of utility droids in the, well, many years ago. Alright, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Okay. Uh, replace hangar control power conduit to open door. Here we go. Man, everything keeps saving against my awesomeness. It's unfair. Mid combat, let's just level up. Yes, I know, I haven't spent all my points. Uh, improved empathy? No. Regenerate force points. That's not a bad idea. Finesse, lightsaber, eh. Mobility. Even though it won't help us right now, we're going to go with weapon focused lightsabers because we're going to be a Jedi. Dominate mind. Yeah, we'll add that. It's another one of those not immediately very useful, but will be useful later on. Powers. Recover. Yes. Yes. Gotta take them mines with us. 
Everyone down! Busty for just staring at it. <sighs> recover this mine, recover that mine. Decon console. Uh, let's see here. Uh, reroute the main console system and open the decontamination chamber. Do we want to attempt to shut down the decontamination system? Yeah. There we go. Okay. I hear you. Sneak attack is uh, basically useless for Atten, by the way, because uh, he's never going to. never going to be taking lead in the party. I say that, but in actuality, I think there are a couple of cases in this game where you are forced to use your secondary characters as your lead. This is the loading ramp to the Ebonhawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Enter the Ebonhawk. Good. Our goal is to miss every single swoop. borders. One Sith assault trooper remains. Let's settle it. Let's uh, settle this with a level up. disable
Okay. Kreia, your hand. What happened? There is no time. We must leave. I'm done with that. We're dead, but if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. Uh, keep as much distance between thus, them and us as you can. I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go nova. Can we jump to hyperspace? Not with all these asteroids around us. We'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field and they're gonna have a clear shot at us. Just do your best to keep your distance. We'll get out of this yet. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. <laughs> Uh, we don't have any choice. Do it. Hold on. This is gonna get a little rocky. just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Why are these Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. I'm not a Jedi, not any longer. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. What happened to the Jedi? The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What about the Jedi on Dantooine and Coruscant? The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. That's fair. If any survivors still live, we need to warn them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the well, Sith have am not I. already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Before, you said the Harbinger was on its way to Telos? Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus Astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go. And where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. How did you know I was on board the Harbinger? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Evon Hawk. How come I don't remember any of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. That's an unusual set of coincidences. 
true. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. How did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to Paragus. Be silent. We're having a conversation here. He says he repaired the ship and got us to Paragus. Repaired this ship? My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get. We got away from the Sith. Now how do we stop it? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. If we don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. What do you mean? You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? The Mandalorian Wars were my choice. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. If I do not try, then we have lost anyone. Uh, like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh... Not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. You're right, she may need my help. Can you handle things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. What makes you say that? I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. What are you talking are about? Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean a very strong, manly Minoc. I think she's just too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. That's odd. In case you hadn't noticed, she won't say two words to me. But she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. What you think matters to her. A lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides... We haven't got much else to do until Telos. When did you get sensitive? Oh, don't give me that. All it takes is being around people enough to read them. You should try it sometime. I'll go check on her then. I like Atten so much more than Carr. It's not even... Oh, what's this? A damaged HK unit? This looks like the remains of an HK unit, but older and more corroded than the one you encountered on Paragus. Its power core still carries a charge, but a number of critical parts appear to be missing. Diagnose the droid. It looks as if this droid is missing four critical components. Its droid processor, a replacement droid chassis, the control cluster that's supposed to be stored in the chassis, and its vocabulator. Take the vocabulary and insert it into the core. Yay, we did it. Well, well. Maybe someday we'll have HK-47 back on our side. Where? Kriya, where did you go? Come for more answers. There is little more left to give. 
When you lost your hand, I felt it too. That does not surprise me any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. If I could, I would have protected you. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. If we travel together, then we need to... Well, actually, if I felt the loss of your hand, what would have happened if you had died? I do not know. I fear that. The consequences would have been more extreme. Would it have been lethal? Possibly, yes. And I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Uh, let's see here. Then we'll work together and try to be careful until we can fix when this. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Does our connection have any advantages? It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. You and Kriya possess the Force Chain special ability. When either of you uses a Force power on yourself, the other gains a benefit as well. A powerful technique indeed. Though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. Uh, let's see. When we were on Paragus, I could feel the Force again. Indeed. And was it the same as before? No, it felt different. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. Wait, the Jedi did this to me? What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? But to cut one off from the Force, it's like losing all your senses at once. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen, or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own, and exiled them as they did you. Uh, then there must be a way to reverse what they did. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. Still, even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. But you said it's possible. How? Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again, distantly, through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you, train you to feel the Force again, and if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you or undo the damage they have done. I will honor whatever training you wish to give me. Do not honor me, fallen Jedi. Honor it by listening and learning. Do that, and perhaps we shall survive this thing, you and I. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. Uh... I would welcome whatever aid you offer. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can to you through my words and presence. This is a lot to take in at once. I need time to reflect on this. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. He's not a fool, but he does feel odd to me. He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. Influence gained, Kriya. Influence lost, Kriya. Well...
It's hard to know sometimes what Kriya wants to hear. She, uh... She wants you to respect her. But... She doesn't actually care if you agree with her. She just wants to know that you're listening to her. So... But I think this is where we're going to call it quits for tonight. Uh, we've hit the end of our stream. So... We'll go ahead and exit game. So yeah. We've made it past the tutorial. <laughs> uh, already the plot is uh, grabbing me so much more than uh, the plot from KOTOR 1. I really like KOTOR 2. Uh, and it's going to continue to be... Uh, a cool game going forward so um, more to come but until next time guys we'll see ya <laughs>